Wall Street Journal. Tasting the world's first test tube steak. Steaks we have produced in a lab setting. I think this is going to be the greatest revolution in the history of modern agriculture. The greatest revolution in the history of modern agriculture. Mm -hmm. This is this is true. This is what, what these people are proposing is the greatest revolution in the history of modern agriculture. These people want to completely remove your connection to any agriculture and totally deify global agribusiness. It's crazy. Meat at the cellular level. To, I mean, for all intents and purposes, have our bacon and eat it too. Because it's not sustainable for us to have a couple goats, have some cows. It's, it's cruel and unsustainable and it's bad for us to slaughter our own animals that we raise on our own land. But this is sustainable. There's a technology that exists that allows us to, I mean, for all intents and purposes, have our bacon and eat it too, without any pigs being harmed. Cultured meat, lab-grown meat, clean meat, whatever you want to call it, is identical to conventional meat at the cellular level. <laughs> I don't want to use too much of it because uh, I get demonetized. How could veganism change the world? The Economist. By 2050, the world's population could approach 10 billion. And around 60% more food could be needed to feed everyone. The environment is always starting out with the Malthusian stuff. The impacts of the food system are daunting. It's responsible for about a quarter of all greenhouse gas emissions. It uses about 70% of all freshwater resources and it occupies about 40% of the Earth's land surface. So that guy that's attached to that nose right there, that's Marco Springman. Remember that face behind that nose. Marco Springman. Let's look him up, actually. I'll give you guys some stats on Marco Springman. Future of Food. Oxford. He's an Oxford guy, Marco Springman. Does he even have a Wikipedia page? He is the guy who proposed the meat tax. Marco Springman is the guy who proposed taxing meat. All right, so the same narrative getting used to push carbon taxes for you exhaling because that's bad for you having children you're gonna have to pay carbon taxes every single thing you do these people want you to pay taxes for to international banks the same banks who have funded both sides of every war for hundreds of years these people want you to pay carbon taxes and now meat taxes look at that toupee he used to have he looked better with that Distributional impacts of national and global climate policies is what he focuses on. So these are a bunch of sick psychopaths who think it's their right to tell you how you can use your land, your resources. They think all water on the planet belongs to them, all food on the planet, and all people on the planet belong to them. Marco Springman. Food-related emissions could increase to 50% by 2050 and fill up the total emissions budget that we have in order to avoid the total emissions budget that we have. Dangerous levels of climate change. Listen to this disgusting. Whew, these people. These people think that you guys having children is the major problem in the world. That people existing is the major problem on the planet. 